Oh, what's going on, YouTube? Hey, listen, I haven't recorded a video, guys, in a long time. Been five months, all right? Um, honestly, I got a little bit discouraged, guys, after YouTube had terminated my previous channel. You know, but I was also encouraged to keep making content, guys. So, try to bring that video. This video right here, guys, is going to be about how to get files off of iOS. Because, you know, I'm, um, I'm jailbroken. So you have to be jailbroken in order to, you know, get, um, you know, to get files, of, right? Um, so what we going to do is, guys, let me keep it real, real simple for you, right? Um, but you know what, guys, before I get into it, let me just keep it, I was going to say this real fast. Somebody, guys, had commented on my channel on another video and said that I, I over explained things. Well, listen, my reply to that and anybody else who feels that way. Is that listen? It's my channel. Uh, with all respect, I say what I want. I do what I want. I do what I do. And um, you know, I thank you for watching my channel. But if you're not satisfied, then you can go somewhere else. There are plenty of YouTube channels out there who make iOS content. Plenty of channels out there have been have been way more established than I am. So if you're not happy over here on this side of town, well, you can pack your bags, hop in your vehicle. And, and and drive down the road, you know what I'm saying, to another block. But I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing because you don't like that I talk too much or if I'm over explaining things. I don't care. Anyway, let's get back to the video. So, guys, when you add father, you got to be jailbroken because I thought I had made a video about father. I told somebody on, on YouTube, but it was from my previous channel. So it's real simple. After you jailbreak, all you got to do is go to your package manager, right, That wherever you have as a package manager, um, for me, it would be uh, Cilio, right? That's that's one of the options that you that you can get that's pre-installed. That um, well, that's one of the options you can get that's pre like pre-installed with the jailbreak, with Peril Rain jailbreak, which would be um, uh, Cilio and Zebra. So it's one. So those are pre-installed that you can choose from to download. And it's up to you if you want to install Cilio or Zebra. I just choose Cilio. Cilio guys is um you know um what's it called? If I was fifteen and above. If you're below fourteen down, then you just stick with Cydia. Okay guys, so you'll go all the way down to the source. Um let me see. The Tiki software guys, that's a um that's the repo that you need. I'll leave the repo in the description box. But you need the Tiki software. Somebody on my channel mentioned, well, do you have to pay for it? I said, yes, you do. It's right here. See? File the file manager 64-bit. Guys, I have an iPhone 10. I'm on iOS 16.7.7. 16.7.7. So on 16.7.7, you got to use the file the file manager 64-bit, right? Um, if you try to use the regular one, it won't work. 64-bit will work on this device. Okay? So here's it right here, guys. See, file manager for iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch supports iOS 11 Plus. Um, this version only supports 64 bit devices, which is why I said I have an iPhone 10. Yeah, you got your change log, and don't show anything, but here is the you know program. So let's exit out. Um, let's go into Files right here. So you do pay for it, I think it's um $4.99 if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Four ninety nine, but the thing about files is after you get father, it'll save a receipt right with a number on it, and that number is forever linked to that device. So let's just say you don't jailbreak right, you unjailbreak and then come back to a jailbreak, right? Once you click on activate again, like once you download the the app again, and you click on um you click on activate, then it'll automatically activate the um the app for you, so you don't gotta keep paying over and over. Once you pay once, it automatically remembers your device that it that it was it was bought on. So this is it, guys. This is the app right here. If it's the plus for documents, this is just your standard file. Um, it's your standard you know page, guys. This app is just like iFile. iFile was the predecessor to um, Files. iFile was an older application in the beginning days of iOS, a beginning days of the you know jailbreak. Um, you know. So you'll see stuff like this. It's like my Dolphin iOS folder. Like this for my um, emulator, my PSP folder. See that my virtual arch folder. Yeah. So this is the first one you see. If you want to see apps, 
then you gotta sorry hit the right the right bottom um like these two squares on the bottom right and then hit the one that says the a on the left side so this bring you to your apps manager because somebody somebody else on youtube kept saying like what is he talking about app manager so this um to that to that person here this is the apps manager right here boom and it says name because i have it in order it's either for me, so like when I'm modding, let's just say, um, hold on. When I'm modding, um, let's just say, see, GTA. When I'm modding GTA, yeah, see what I'm saying? So, makes it easier for me. Yup. So, guys, that's it, guys. That's how you really get files. Of. See, um, there's the settings right here. You can play around with it, guys. Like I say, guys, it's just like I, it's just like iFile, but this is more, um, I you say it's more um it's more simple than iFile. iFile is a little bit more complex, especially for a beginner user. But guys, any, even with um files, you can mess up your the phone. You can mess up your phone, guys, if you don't know what you're doing. But I was, also I want to show you this though too. Let me go back into um. I gotta go back in in this in the uh Cilio to show you this. Okay, um, where is that? Okay, you see what it says, guys, right here, show package content? A little hard to click on it. Okay, you see it says application is library and user, um, right? Bin and all this, yeah. So, this says install files. So, just in case you go on Files and you want to know where you can locate the files for that app, as long as you follow the content like this, like off of Cilio, then you will know where in Files to go to. You see? For, for example, see it says application is library and user RL. Where it showed Ben and his lib ex um, ex ec, and then it says see it says father. So watch. So we follow that same thing. Applications user. Hold on. Let me start over. Let me go all the way back. Okay. See. So if you go all the way back, right? Because I said this is showing the whole thing inside the phone. So you go to applications. What did it say? Applications, okay, library. Oh crap, I went too, uh, man, I went too far, Dang, darn it. Okay, there we go, I went too far back. Okay, see it says applications, oh Jesus. Or you go to app. Okay, I follow the app. Okay. Yeah. See, guys, I'm guys. I'm still learning. I'm still learning more about it too, guys. You see me? I didn't stumble. I didn't stumble already. You saw I stumbled. I dropped. I dropped the football. But anyways, um, see, guys, you see what I mean, guys. So you can play around with like that, like as long as like you, if you follow it, the content it shows here, you can kind of find that those files in, inside files. I messed up when I was doing it, but um. I'll correct myself next time I do a different video. But yeah, but, but like I said, see, you can look through files uh, and it can see through your phone. That's why I said, um, use certain things. You got to be careful what you're looking at. Um, let me see. Lip. Oh, no, never mind. I was just, uh, whatever. But anyways, like I said, you can kind of play around and look, and look through like the system right here. Just be careful, guys, to not really delete anything. Just be careful about that. Because like I said, you don't want to damage nothing on your device. So you really got to be careful about that. Anyways, guys, like I said that's how you um, get files on iOS. So, thank you guys for watching. Deuces.